Welcome to the Defining Record Operations with the BlackBot CRM SDK video series. In this video, we'll explore how to extend the capabilities of an existing record operation by wrapping a new record operation around it. When we create a wrapped record operation, its stored procedure includes a call on the original record operation's stored procedure. And then we can insert logic to execute before or after the original stored procedure. To explore wrapped record operations, let's return to the sample pets customization in BlackBaud CRM. For this demo, we'll start with Robert Hernandez's constituent record in the sample database. On the record, we select the custom pets tab to view the pets on his record. In the summary at the top of the page, pet owner is listed as an active constituency. We can edit the constituency on the constituency subtab of the personal info tab. In previous versions of BlackBaud CRM, constituencies were listed on a separate constituencies tab instead of the subtab. The pets customization automatically adds the pet owner constituency when we add a pet to a constituent record for the first time. We can access a constituent record with no pet records and no pet owner constituency. When we add a pet, the pet owner constituency appears in the summary and on the constituency's grid. We can use this constituency to query on constituents with pets. For example, we can use it for pet-related events or campaigns. However, the constituency currently remains in place even if we mark a constituent's pet as deceased. For this demo, we want to end date the pet owner constituency when we mark all of constituents' pets as deceased. To do this, we'll use a wrapped SP record operation in the Pets Customizations Catalog Project. In Visual Studio, we can create a wrapped SP record operation spec the same way as a delete or update record operation spec. In the Solution Explorer, right-click the Catalog Project, select Add, and then select New Item. Then, on the Add New Item screen, select the BlackBot AppFX Catalog category and the Record Operation Wrapped SP template. Next, we update the name field's default value. For the wrapped record operation, we use pet wrapped marked deceased dot record operation dot XML. Then we click Add to create the record operation spec. A search screen appears and we select the record operation to wrap. For the demo, we want the pet marked deceased record operation. In previous versions, this search screen was not available to search by spec name and you had to locate the actual XML file. The spec includes the XML elements and attributes that we need for a basic record operation. It also includes a stubbed out stored procedure that invokes the stored procedure from the pet marked deceased record operation. We just need to make a handful of changes starting with the attributes of the parent record operation spec element. For the name attribute we add custom the default value to avoid any possible future naming conflicts with BlackBot features. Then we add the name UI overrides attribute to provide a display name that does not include custom for the feature in BlackBot CRM. Next, in the description attribute, we flesh out the description from the original spec to describe the logic that we are going to add. In this example, we explain that we will end date the pet owner constituency when the last pet on a constituent record is marked deceased. Finally, we add the security folder attribute and specify the pet folder to categorize the feature in security in BlackBot CRM. After the attributes, the spec includes the SP record, SP operation implementation, and create procedure SQL elements. Just like in a non-wrapped record operation, the SP operation implementation elements SP name attribute names the stored procedure. The stubbed out stored procedure starts with a create line and then declares the ID and change agent ID parameters. The ID is the ID of the entity to perform the record operation on and the change agent ID is the ID of the user who executes the operation. After this point the stubbed out stored procedure deviates from a non-wrapped record operation. First, a section is available for pre-execute logic. This is where we insert logic to execute before we call the original stored procedure. In this case, we can remove that section because we want to execute our logic after the original stored procedure. 
Next, the spec includes a section to invoke the original stored procedure from the record operation that we wrapped. This section executes the original stored procedure using the ID and change agent ID parameters, and we do not need to edit it. And finally, the spec includes a post-execute section. This is where we insert logic to execute after we call the original stored procedure. For our example, we want to insert logic to end date the pet owner constituency when all pets are marked deceased. First, we remove the comment markers around the section. Next, we declare a constituent ID variable and set it to the constituent ID value from the user underscore pet table. We'll use this variable to check rows for the constituent in the user underscore pet and constituency tables. Next, we use if statements to determine what actions to take. First, we use an if not statement to check the user underscore pet table for any non-deceased pets for the constituent. If such an entry exists, no action is taken and the constituent retains the pet owner constituency. But if the constituent does not have any non-deceased pets, we declare the constituency ID variable. We set this variable to the pet owner constituency's constituency code ID value in the constituency table. Then we declare the current date variable for the end date on the constituency and set it to the current date. Next, we use an if statement to check the constituency table for the constituent and the pet owner constituency. If a row exists in the table, we update its date to column to the current date using our current date variable. The post execute section also includes some default error catching and we leave that in place. Finally, after fleshing out the stubbed out stored procedure, we insert the expected operation DB exceptions element. Within this element, we call on constraints for the constituency table. The first constraint checks that the date to value that we add does not predate the value in the date from column. The second constraint checks that the constituent does not have multiple pet owner constituencies on their record. After these changes to the record operation spec, we can save it and use the load spec utility to load it into Blackboard CRM. To use the load spec utility, we select it from the tools menu. This utility adds catalog specs to our local Infinity installation. Keep in mind that while load spec is useful to test specs, package specs are how we deploy multiple specs and embed them as resources. Back in Blackboard CRM, we activate design mode to display the options that we can use to customize the program. To do this, we click the toggle button near the top right of the web browser. To allow users to execute our record operation, we can update the existing mark deceased action to call on our new record operation. To do this, we click edit actions above the grid. Then, on the edit section actions screen, we select the mark deceased action and click edit. On the edit action screen, we scroll down to the record operation field and click the search icon. On the search screen, we enter pet in the name field to search for our record operation by its friendly name. After we select the wrapped record operation, we click OK to save these settings and click Save to save the action to the Pets tab. When we return to the Pets tab, the marked deceased action is updated to call on our new record operation. If we go to a constituent record with only one pet, our updated marked deceased action still marks the pet as deceased and it also places an end date on the pet owner constituency. Note that the constituency remains listed as an active constituency in the summary. The constituency is removed from this list the next time the summary refreshes itself.